Teachers ain't supposed to touch students. I'm not a teacher. I'm the new basketball coach. It's a lot of fun. Uh, that energy is something that I don't have a lot because I don't work with a lot of youngsters and they're kind of all over the place and being, I guess, the star of the movie, sometimes it was my responsibility to kind of rein them in and make sure that we were doing the job we needed to do along with, you know, having a good time while we did it. And hopefully I taught them that it's, it's, it's possible to have a whole lot of fun and get the job done at the same time. <laughs> Every week we had like rehearsal on our on our off day. We had to come in and, and do rehearsal, so we were always prepared. 16 hours of, of stop and go. Every time they say action, it's full speed, flat out, like the first time you ever do it. And you know, you do that 18 hours stop and go. It's you know diligence and, and discipline. Then we had a coach. He was a guy named Coach Ellis. And you know, Coach Ellis, you know, they all just made sure the whip was cracked and got us there. No it had away. to look good. There's yeah. no cutaway. We're going to get this. You can get this, and we're going to get this. Mm -hmm. So concentrate and knock it down, and that was, that was <laughs> yeah. it. Was, OK, coach. <laughs> Kira, that's not even how it is at all. I don't all. care what you say. I'm having this baby. When I read the script, it had depth to it. It had meaning. I didn't want to jump into something and try to be the star of the film and carry the whole film on my shoulders, so I think this was a great stepping stone. It's kind of hard to portray chemistry that you've known a person and you're in love with a person that you met maybe a week or two ago and you might not even know his last name. <laughs> you know, so that was a challenge for me, but he was really professional, really, really cool, and that made it easy. If you listen and learn, you will win basketball games. And gentlemen, winning in here is the key to winning out there. Meeting him for the first time was, you know, pretty interesting and impressive. We met at a high school basketball tournament, sat in the stands, watched the kids play, talked about their style of play, the different teams. I think I kind of surprised him with my basketball knowledge, you know, the things that I knew of what I would do if I was in a certain coaching situation. But the confidence and the dignity that he exudes is you know, pretty impressive. You can also tell he's a tough a tough cat because when he first met us, he, uh, he greeted us with a... Uh, strong backhand to the chest yeah. and we tried to tense up and he said no 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 hold up and then he he got me again with it and knocked me in the chest he, he he's obviously a tough dude fellas don't make me commit homicide i said suicide put your hand on the line put your hand on the line coach carter he also played before he so he knew what a suicide was so he knew how to motivate you he knew how to punish you if you did something wrong yeah, and I'm, when you hear suicide just think of the word mm -hmm. suicide you about to kill, kill yourself, yourself. <laughs> how, how many uh, how many can we do as many as it, as it took to either get the shot or uh, or uh, <laughs> to play you know for these kids they did it for you know however many it took to you know to just be on the, on the court to earn the right to be on the team and they uh, receive a jersey it's just funny dog because junior man I mean, you thought it was bad. All us knew your dumb ass was spelling science. Not a whole world about to know your dumb ass spelling science. Oh, man. Hey, man. We, we met the original us. team. Right. So it was, he was that, right. That's how I got hired. He said, you remind me so much of my son. You're going to play my son. So that's how, and that happened in summer 2002 before we were in production. We weren't just the same, you know, one person that was exactly like the other person, but all of our characteristics and, and, and I guess uh, personalities pull from, you know, everyone that was on that team. You know, there's a lot of every one of them and every one of us. The, the last game, they were actually there. They were behind us cheering us on and uh, like Twan said, sleeping in the crowd. They yeah. that last it's kind of ironic yeah. because they're right, the real players are behind our bench, yeah. but they're like spectators. So when you see us, you see them right behind, and I mean, a lot of people don't know, but like we'll watch the movie and be like, hey, there go Damien. Oh, there go one right there. You know, so it's like, it's kind of cool. We're wearing Letterman jackets right behind the bench. Right. Yeah. You said we're a team. One person struggles, and we all struggle. One player triumphs, we all triumph, right? The movie, I guess, in a way, the message becomes you don't have to win to win. That winning is not always the answer. And that because you put in the effort and you did all these particular things, you learned a lesson and you gained in the midst of that loss. And I guess that's a little more poignant than your average film where you know the guy's going to make that last basket or the last basket's going to fall off and they're going to win. So it's kind of different.